Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a memory training program. So this, the way this is going to work is we're going to get the program to create a random number sequence. The length of the sequence will be determined by the user at the start. Then the user is going to see the sequence, maybe for one or two seconds, and then the program is going to check if the user can recall it. There's going to be a couple of challenges, one of which is in Python idle, you cannot delete text. So we're going to figure out a way to hide it. So let's start from the very basics. Um, we're going to need to create this random sequence. I guess we're going to need random numbers. And this time I'm going to use some comments. We're going to have to create a sequence so we're going to create a random sequence we are then going to show it for a for two seconds eh, maybe five be generous and then we're going to hide the C points and finally we're going to check if the user can recall the sequence okay so those are pretty much all the steps and let's oh one one important thing i'm pretty sure i said we're going to get a sequence length from a user so we're going to add another one get a sequence length from a user from the user all right this one should be pretty easy i guess we can call this digits and that's going to be equal to int of an input input what should we say how many digits do you want to guess so that that ought to do it um we can then convert this variable into an integer and that's step one all right random sequence well i guess however many digits it is that's how we can run the loop for for i in range zero comma digits so if we say five this loop is going to run five times and what do we want to run in the loop we need to have some kind of um sequence i think the only way we can create it is outside of the loop and then inside the loop we want to append the random number from 0 to 9 to this sequence. So sequence dot append random dot rand int 0 comma 9. That ought to do it. Um, I'm just going to print sequence just in case. So let's see if this works. We want three digits 479 great let's try six digits awesomeness all right so that works now we want to be able to show the sequence for five seconds only now that shouldn't be that hard i mean we can time that sleep for five seconds However, how do we hide it? Um, and the only way that I can really come up with is that for I in range, however many lines it takes to hide, I mean, I can, we can pick 30 that should do it. Thirty will work, but I prefer to, to use lower and upper limits. So from zero to 30, we can just print you can print nothing that ought to do it so let's let's give this a try six 
Oh, we did not import time. Six, two, four, five, three, seven, one, two, four, five, three, seven, one. Ah, 30's not enough. All right, we'll go for 50. That ought to be pretty safe. Five. Yeah, well and truly disappeared. Now, how do we check if the user can recall the sequence? Um, well, we the same way we add the sequence, I suppose, you can sort of copy that because you're going to have the digits. And, and then right here, for each one, um, we can say print. Enter number at index plus string i. So I had a number at index zero, so it'll be the first, you know. This will make sense to a programmer, <laughs> maybe not to an average person. So you, you may want to go string i plus one, I guess, um, because it'll be the first position, will be the first, or index zero. And then num equals to int of input and if num double equals the sequence i if that's true then we say print correct And if it's not, then it's wrong. So we should probably just, you know, print wrong. And break. Exit out of there. All right. That ought to do it. That ought to do it. I can't see that going wrong, although often it does. Six digits. Should be easy. Let's go. Oh, I forgot it. Oops. <laughs> Let's try again. Come on, you can remember six digits. One, no, one, eight, five, four. Yes. So this works. Um, there's a couple of more things you can add. I mean, if, if you get all correct, you may be able to add a congratulations message. Um, perhaps if you get the first one wrong, you may give the user a different kind of feedback. You know, I can't believe you got the first one wrong kind of thing. But I'll leave those improvements to you. I think it's a it's a fairly interesting game and in effect it can be really useful to you. I mean if you can remember 10, 15, 20 digit numbers, that's a very, very impressive skill. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Hi there. I'm Sanyin. I'm the guy that makes these videos and answers your comments. So yeah, feel free to drop me one. Um this is a playlist that's getting updated a lot, so it'll be a whole course in a couple of weeks, so make sure to subscribe right there. Uh, the playlist can be accessed also by a playlist link, which I'll put there. And finally, pretty much all my Python videos are going to be in another playlist there. Okay, have fun. See you later.